Hi, this is Ben with eInstruments. In this video, I'll give you a quick walkthrough of the section setup and the voicing assistant in Session Horns. Session Horns offers a variety of different section setups. The default section is the full section with first trumpet, second trumpet, tenor sax and trombone. You can simply choose the section you want to use from the section setup drop down menu. Note that inactive instruments are dimmed on the interface for a better overview. For a better audibility of the single instruments, I'll activate the Smart Voice Split feature, which distributes each note of a chord to the corresponding section instrument. This is exactly how a real brass section would work. The Octave Settings menu helps to tweak the chord voicings in Session Horns. Drop lets you revoice the chord in different ways by transposing some of the instruments down an octave. Drop First drops the trombone. Drop Second drops the sax. Drop Third drops the second trumpet. And Drop First plus Second drops trombone and sax. This provides a lot of tonal variations when arranging chords. The performance instrument provides many ways to add different articulations to your performance. Via the velocity switch menu, you can assign dedicated articulations to higher note velocities. By default, this menu is set to Forte Piano Crescendo. Now let's head over to the right hand side again and have a look at the voicing assistant. The default mode here is polyphonic. This mode makes your section quite big as each note played triggers all four instruments. It's perfect if you want a very full section playing a unison melody or if you want the biggest sound for your chords. The first mode in the Voicing Assistant drop-down menu is Smart Voice Split that you've already encountered. Check out our Smart Voice Split tutorial video for a closer look at this clever feature. The Chord plus Legato mode allows you to play a chord and a legato line at the same time. This means you can play chords and create an independent legato line on top. Keep in mind that to create a legato melody, you need to overlap the notes. Session Horns offers real legato samples, which differ from non-legato samples regarding attack and sound. Legato switches session horns into monophonic mode. The legato mode is ideal for monophonic lines that join together. And actually, the drop settings work on all these modes as well. So it's very easy to create typical octave legato lines. Just set the drop menu to drop first plus drop second and you're ready to go.
Real horn players often play note repetitions with just a tongued attack on the same airflow instead of a completely new attack. This so-called same note legato sounds quite different from a new attack and comes in very handy to create smooth horn lines. Session Horns provides dedicated same note legato samples. If you switch to the control page, you'll find the same note legato option below the sustain pedal tab. It's automatically activated when you repeat a note while pressing the sustain pedal. So let's check out the different attack sounds in context. The final entry in the Voicing Assistant menu is the Animator. Selecting this will activate the Animator and let you play the phrase currently selected in the Animator area. For this example, I'll choose Pop and select the Dino Horns song. Check out our Animator tutorial for some interesting tips and tricks. I hope this short walkthrough has given you a good overview of the many possibilities Session Horns has to offer for creating your own unique horn section sound. So play around and have some fun.